All right, now one of the things that people were a little sad to let go of was the uh, the headphone jack. Obviously, you're aware of this. The new S20 stuff, no headphone jacks anywhere. Uh, believe it or not, LG's still hanging on to it. So if, if you're one of those people, Jack just wanted to get in on the show there. <laughs> that was a great sneak. There you are. Where is he? See if you can get him. There he is. It was a fake. That was a social cough. <clears throat> In. Jack here. Did you call my name? <laughs> and look, there he is over there in the background. Anyway, so some people are still upset. I don't know who they are. Maybe people can let me know in the comments. Look, we hu we hung on to the to the headphone jack for a while. I was listening to uh, Neil Young recently. He loves. He still wants the headphone jack. Obviously audio quality and fidelity and there's only one smartphone brand that still cares about you if you are that person i don't like i said let me know in the comments if you still care that company is lg not only are they keeping headphone jacks in their next version lg v60 thin q based on this leak but it's likely to have their enhanced dac built in as well which is a thing they've been working on for a few versions now a 32-bit hi-fi quad dac so previous versions have had it Audio file types have appreciated it, and, and it's one of these unusual differentiating factors that the people in the know really appreciate and others don't even know exists. So LG has been, has been focusing on audio quality in their devices for a while, and according to this, to this rumor, leak, they're going to keep it that way for the next version, V60 Thin Q. It's also going to have a, a very large battery at 5,000 milliamp hours capable of of course, of competing with the Ultra model. That's the same size battery as the Ultra model for the upcoming Samsung flagship device. It's going to have Snapdragon 865. Don't know if it's going to have 5G or not, and it's something I should have mentioned with the Samsung devices. Yes, they're expensive, but they're all going to ship with 5G. This one probably will be 5G as well, and it, it might have a price tag to match. They also apparently uh, put some attention into the microphone setup for recording audio. There's a four microphone array and quad camera setup on the rear of the device. Why would you need a quad microphone array on the back of your device? What are you recording? I, I presume there's some degree of noise cancellation capabilities on the back there. It could be a professional uh, some sort of pr professional application. What, what, what are they saying here? Uh, capable of impressive audio recording capabilities compared to its rivals. So I guess that's it. I don't know. Maybe some spatial stuff, Will. Maybe some 3D audio kind of thing going on. Not really sure, but four microphones, enhanced DAC, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and the latest and greatest flagship. Now, 